Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I have an Amazon package that arrived on my doorstep and it's got some diamond paint and goodies in it. So let's get to it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. My day has been grand. Mm, let me cut these little side stringy pieces. I don't want to have to go all Hulk smash on y'all. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Neat. Nice. Ah, yeah. Okay. Let me pull this stuff out so you can see what all is here. Okay. Hold on just a second. Okay, so this is going to be fun. I am excited to get this. All right, all right, all right, all right. DIY start here. This little package here is from B Note on Amazon. Um, and this actual... Um, kit here. I'm not talking about this kit. I'll talk about that in a second. But this kit here I believe was $19 and something on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little case. Look at that. How cute is that? It's got a little handle. Ooh, it's a nice material. It's it's a firm canvas, but that's like a material. Um, you know what I mean? Okay, and then it zips all the way around. Let's get it unzipped. And isn't it cute? It's just cute. I like the butterflies on it. So, oh, look at this. Nice. We got some blank labels. And we have some number labels. We have a couple sheets of that. And then we have more little labels. I want to make sure we have plenty of labels, right? That's awesome. And then it comes with 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so 30 um, little containers, okay? Um, these are not, like, huge. Like, you're not going to be able to kit up, like, a Diamond Art Club um, large canvas in this. But, I mean, it's great for smaller projects. I'll just say that much, okay? Now, let's dig into this side because it came with a lot of little extra fun things, okay? First of all, we have a little funnel to pour our diamonds into our, you know, little thingy joogies, thingy joogies, whatever. And then we have, I think there was more of these. Uh, okay, maybe not. Just the one tray. And it's the Mopsa tray, which are the little, the decent white trays with the spout. And then cute little packaging. Um, inside here, we have, let me cut this, some fun stuff. I was shocked that it was just $19 and something because it came with quite a bit of stuff in it. Um, and the case is super cute. Okay, I'm going to struggle getting this open. Struggle bus. Oh, come on. Oh, give me a second. Okay, five minutes later, <laughs> I still couldn't get into it, so I just cut the whole top off. Okay, so I'll throw that away. So we have a pair, a super cute pair of pink tweezers. Are these the stabby ones or roundy ones? I can't tell. Um... Let's go ahead and just open it up and see. I like pink tweezers. These are pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, they're the they're not super sharp. And they're kind of like not great, great um quality, but you know, they'll work for what you need, you know. Put that down in my little pin thing there. And then I have a big ring here. You'll see here in a minute what that's for. And then I have a card. What is this? Your time matters. Congratulations. You will have a chance to win our VIP private privilege. We appreciate the time that you took to share your constructive and unbiased product review at Amazon or just one second for rating only. 
Just email us to receive a thank you gift to reward your time and efforts. Hmm. Super cool. Thank you very much. Okay, and then we get, what's this? Hmm, thank you for choosing B-Note. And then it's got some information there. Uh, okay. All right. Just another little informational thing. Okay. And then I'm supposed to have, I believe, it, I believe it's 50 bags here. Um, I don't want to really take that out of the, but there's 50 bags here. Okay. And these are the nicer bags that, um, kind of like what you get from T-Mall when you order like sparklers and stuff. Um, so it just pops open. And then you can see through the front, um, zips back nicely. And they got holes in the center. See, all of them have holes. Um, so the thing, that's what this key ring is for here, okay? There are a couple of things that when I saw this, I was, okay, I, first of all, there are a few little things that I have ideas for. Let me sit down and I will show you, I will tell you all about it. Plus, my back hurts. So, and let me get a drink real quick. I'm thirsty. Don't get old, guys. Makes your back hurt. Okay. Well, if my phone would work with me. So, as I was saying, okay. Key ring. Okay. And this just pops open right there on this one side. You can see it's got those little teeth like that that just like clamp shut, you know, right there. Nice size, big ring, okay? It don't open super duper far, but it opens far enough. Um, so, two things that I considered doing with this. Um, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I apologize for Two, there are two um, things that I'm, like, considering doing with this little system. So, okay, probably a couple, a month or two ago, I was talking to Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment. And her and I were talking about um, working on kits that come in baggies. Because um, I'm a kitting up kind of girl. I like my containers. Um... But I also like the convenience of being able to work out of baggies, especially if you don't have any empty containers at the time um, that you can kit down, um, that sort of thing. Or if you're like in a time crunch and just really want to get started but don't have the time to do a proper kit up. Um, so I was telling her, I'm like, well, because I had been working on a canvas and she had been working on a canvas and I was like, you know, I've got, like, what I would do with my individual baggies. Like, say you have, um, okay, just say, for instance, that you have a canvas that you're working on. And you've got um, a bunch of baggies. Say that your canvas has 35 colors, okay? So, then you're going to have 35, excuse me. So then you're going to have 35 different baggies, at least. I mean, that's just unless, you know, you got um, some that have multiple bags of the same color if it's a big canvas, you know. So my problem was is I didn't have a container like on hand that was small enough and narrow enough to sort of like stack my baggies in, you know. Because I would number them, you know, like I would put like... The, the, the number um, on them um, or the symbol or something like that, you know, so I could tell what was what went with what. And um, I ended up just having all mine laying around on the desk and then I'd have to like rummage through them to find the right color. La, la, la. That was aggravating, especially when you had a lot of confetti spots, you know. And I was telling Mindy, I'm like, that's just annoying, you know, to me. And I was like, you know, they have those little cute little like cheap 
containers or cute little boxes that you can find at the dollar store or the Dollar Tree and um, that are like long and skinny, you know, that you could use to prop your bags up in it. Um, another option is always something like what uh, Bella Art Dana Cole has, which is the baggy organizer. It's got little tabs on it. Those are really cool too. Um, so, but I was thinking along the lines and I told her, I'm like, you know, I had just finished watching, um, oh, mm, it was a floss tube, um, the store. Oh shoot. What's the name of the store? Oh my goodness, I have forgot the name of the store. So yeah, I completely forgot the name of the store, um, online store where you can buy, um, uh, like crochet, not crochet, um, um, cross stitch and stuff like that, uh, fabrics and, um, patterns and floss and all kinds of stuff. Okay. I love that place. Why in the name of all that is holy, can I not think of the name of that store? I visit there all the time. Anyway, they have a floss tube channel and I love to watch it because they're always showing, they always do a lot of live streams and stuff. But they had the cutest little um, idea for their embroidery floss for when they like kit. Because they, you know, when you cross stitch, you kit up your projects just like you kit up diamond paintings. And they were kitting up their floss, you know, on their little like um, floss bobbiny, I think they call them biddies or something. Um, and they had them on a key ring. And the, like, the little cards that their floss was wound around had holes in the corner. Um, and then they just kind of, like, you know, had all of their stuff on a ring. And I'm like, that's cool. Maybe we can do that with, like, baggies and a big ring. And I was thinking, because I was thinking about that for kitting up my, um, or organizing my kits that come, you know, kitted up in baggies already. So... Um, I just thought that that was a cool idea to keep them neat and organized and in a row, you know, and then also in a fashion that I wouldn't have to take it out of the loop, um, to get my drills out of it, out of the bag, that kind of thing. So, wouldn't you know, I was scrolling around on Amazon and found these. Well, I found them a while back and I was telling... Mindy about the idea. And she's like, yeah, I've seen that before. That would be really cool. So I was like looking, I saw them earlier and then for completely forgot all about them. And then I was looking around on Amazon when I found this kit, um, this one with the little 30 bottles in it. And I, but then it came with these and I was like, oh, wow. And then I was like, the, the bags already have holes in them because I was thinking in my mind, the ones that you get kitted up in the baggies like these, I was thinking I would have to punch a hole in them, you know? And so then I found these already had holes and I was like, okay, so here would be the plan. Plan would be if I got another kit that was already kitted up in baggies that I would just empty the baggies into these if it's too much of a pain, I could probably put a hole in that, but I would think that the hole would let drills come out, which that would be annoying, right? Um, like the drills would like seep out of a little hole and then they would be everywhere. So it would be worth probably dumping them into a bag, you know, Shh, dump them in there. And then say you have, um, you know, 30 some different colors 
there's 50 here, okay? So let's get an idea. I know that there are no drills in, so it's gonna make it more bulky when there's drills in these. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to see, right? I'm kind of anxious to see um, how that would work. But see, the thing is, is it keeps them all nice and tidy and in a row. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you can label them um, however you would want to. Whether you use symbols that's on the canvas or the number or the DMC or all three even. You know, if you've got empty labels like this one comes with different labels, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'm already uh, a little less than halfway. So, I mean, all of these may not fit on one, but then again, you never know till you try. And then again, like I said, these are gonna have drills in them, so it's gonna be bulkier. But even if you had two key rings, you know? I mean, you shut it together and then you have them all together. Nice and neat and tidy. Just like this, blah, 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 right? And then if you have them numbered, then you can just, you know, probably, um, I'm right-handed, so I would probably put like the stickers over here in the corner, excuse me, or down here, and then just kind of like flip through until I find the one I want, scooch it over, pull this key, you know, and then, um, what I would do then, um, okay, see what you're gonna have to do is open that because it opens from the top. Yeah, and it's in there, which isn't a problem, I don't think. So you would open it, pull that up and out, leave that like that, open your drills, pour them in your tray, leave that set. You don't have to lock that back if you don't want to. And then when you're done, pour them back in, put it in there, and voila. So, I'm kind of excited about trying this method. Um, I don't know if it'll work. It may not work. And if it does, if it don't, that's fine. If it does, awesome sauce. Um, the other thing I was thinking about with these is, um, and this is why, hold on a second, and I will show you the other package that I purchased. Just a second, okay? Okay. All right, so let me dive into this one. I have a little zip top here. Just gonna use my scissors. Okay, maybe I'll have better luck opening this one than I did the last one. Oh, that was funny. Okay, okay. Okay, lots more labels. Lots of baggies. Lots of baggies. Key rings. Oh, wow, I got lots of boats that time. Crazy, right? They're all really good little like moths of boats. And it, it don't say moths on the back, but I mean, I kind of think that's what they are. Um, and then it came with four rings. Now this is a separate kit that I purchased. Um, like I said, this one, not mentioning any of this stuff, but just this that I showed you already was 19 something on Amazon. Well, then I was like, okay, it only came with the 50 bags and the one ring. And I'm like, what if I love that so much that I would like to try these for long-term storage? Right? <laughs> Am I crazy or what? I mean, like I said, if it don't work, it don't work. That's fine. This kit was like 14 something. Um. Even if it don't work, I have a ton of really awesome baggies and a bunch of labels. 
um, that I can find plenty to do with. I mean, the bags, whatever, you know. I mean, I've wasted more than $15 in my lifetime before. But even at that, I mean, if it does work, but it don't work for long-term storage, I can always have like four, you know, one, two, three, four kits all kitted up at different times or whatever. Um, it comes with, let's see, one, two, three, four cute little like holographic stickers that are numbered one through 100. Um, and then we have some blank bigger labels. There's one, two, three, four sheets of those. Those are nice size labels too. Pretty cool for you to label your bags. Um, let's see if these are the same. Yeah, I think they're the same bags. Uh, yeah, they're the same. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Are they the same? I think I, here's some. I don't know if they're the same size or not. They look it, but then again, they maybe kind of don't look it. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. So, anyway, I got a hundred bags. And my thought was long-term storage, right? So there are 400, um, 400 and some uh, DMC codes. Am I right about that? 400 and some? And I'm thinking, okay, there are four rings. So if I did like, okay guys, so um, my phone decided to do its little um, iPhone storage um, is full, blah, blah, blah. So it cut off and I did not know it. And while I was still, while I thought I was still recording, apparently I was phantom recording. Ha ha ha. But anyway, um, I just wanted to um, kind of finish out this video, the ideas that I had behind it. As I was saying at the end of the video before it so rudely stopped recording, um, was that because there are four binder rings, um, if you have 400 and some bags, then you could potentially use the four binder ring clip thingies to, um, for your long-term storage to divvy them up, like the, the, you know, all the different DMC codes. Um, might be a little bulky, too bulky. I'm not sure. That's why I'm not like saying this is a great long-term storage idea. It would have to be something that, you know, oops, sorry, my phone accidentally took a screenshot as I was recording. How annoying. But anyway, yeah, that was kind of the idea. So um, I will keep you informed as to how that process is going. Um, when I get started with that, um, but as far as kitting up little bagged, um, kits and canvases, I think would be a pretty neat idea, um, to keep them neat and tidy and organized without having to, um, find something to keep them in, if that makes any sense. All right, I'm going to end the video here. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell ding 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video and until then I will talk to you guys soon have a great rest of your day bye